Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we are going to be doing another object competition but before we get into that guys we have to go over the results of the previous episode so yeah it was M51 UOS 1B if you uh, remember so yeah these objects here these are all the submissions um, we got so this was this one went down to a tiebreaker and even then we still couldn't get a winner so in joint first place we have Mr. Missalot and Mad Planet guys, um, M51 UOS 1B. Yeah, we, we went to a tiebreaker. They were both on um, both on par throughout the entire voting. So we went to a tiebreaker. And then they got equal points again. 12 votes for each of them. Couldn't decide it. Obviously, I have no influence over the vote. I don't pick a winner or anything. Um, I was, yeah, it kind of defeat the purpose of all of you guys voting. So, yeah, here are the um, two winners of the previous ones here. Mad Planet guys, Mr. Missile Sis. So they are joint first place but we also had a uh, joint for um third place or second place whatever you want to call it but usually when there's two joint in one place you go down uh two places so yeah that'd be um they'd take up the one and two slots even though they're joint first and yeah the second um or the yeah joint third place i should say is gigaman over here so these two were equal on three votes on the original vote so it was gigaman and then um error x I'm, I'm still sorry i'm probably scrapping your name again but yeah so yeah these two guys here so yeah, him and Gigaman, they were joint um, third place there. So yeah, congratulations to those guys. And yeah, massive thank you for you all for sending your objects in. And yeah, um, thank you for everyone who um, voted um, for these as well. So yeah, there are our winners from um, the last episode. But yeah, today we are moving on to a new planet. It's actually a rocky planet this time. So the first one of the rocky planets since we have done in this new uh, series of uh, object competitions. So this object is Toy 700D. So it's an exoplanet. Um, likely rocky, orbiting Toy 700. It's a red dwarf star, 101 light years away, roughly. Um, the planet is the first Earth-sized exoplanet in the Hatfield zone, discovered by um, an exoplanet survey satellite. Okay, pretty interesting. It's really, it's quite similar to Earth in radius as well. So that's pretty, really interesting. It orbits its star every 37 days, and it was discovered this year in January the third. Right. So let's see um, what you guys have sent in. So if I just search in comp, we are in update 23.2 as well for this as, yeah, for Rocky Planets um, to in to give you more um, ideas to do with modding and stuff. Um, yeah, we're doing it in this version for Rocky Planets. So yeah, let's see what you guys have came up with. So we'll start off with uh, Blue Boy here. We've only got five submissions today, so it's a little less, less people to vote between for today. But it seems like Rocky Planets are way less popular than Gas Giants, but it's what you guys voted for. So that's what we're rolling with. Right. Toy 700D here from Blue, so, or Blue Boy, I should say. He changed his name, didn't he? So, yeah, Blue Boy, here is his world. So, it's very, very ocean-heavy, as we can see. It's got some land on it as well. Uh, we can just remove the water a little bit just to see what is underneath. So, yeah, there, there's a bit more of the land, a bit more of the colours um, underneath it as well. But, obviously, it's intended to have more oceans on it. It's actually got city lights as well, if you look carefully. But, yeah, there is his one. So, we'll just pull it back to where it's intended to be. So, yeah, quite a... Actually, we'll just want a new one. But, yeah, quite quite ocean-heavy. So, yeah, there are there is his world there. So, you've got more and less water there. So, yeah, there is a blues one. Alrighty. Moving on to Mad Planet Guys one here. Oh, it looks like it's modded straight away. You can see like a tint going on. It's got one of those old atmospheres from the old days of modern here. So, it's got the other purplish glowy clouds. Got some city lights on it as well here. Um, let's go on to uh, realistic mode just so we can look around it um, a little easier there. So, yeah, there's there's lights um, on the back of it. Nice shade of purple um, atmosphere clouds there as well you can see it they slightly change as it gets darker and in the daytime they appear as more of a white color if we just look underneath the um, atmosphere and stuff though so if we just go under here that's what it looks like underneath it looks like it may have some custom sort of uh, texture going on as well with that white splatter of um, stuff there that's pretty cool it also has current mode so if we turn that on and off it makes it completely different you can see it's got some vegetation on it if we turn it on and off you can see it goes more, a little more green which is cool yeah something you can only redo in the old versions now but yeah there is mad planet guys one again Alrighty. Right, next up we have got Mr. Missilots. Once let's see what he has prepared for us today. So here is his one. It's a Toy 700D. Right. Oh, check this out. It looks like it's got a Venus texture going on underneath. So if we look there, that definitely looks like a Venus to me. Yep, yeah, that's definitely the texture of Venus mixed with maybe Io um, by the looks of it. Let's just remove all the water. I want to see what it is. Yeah, so it looks to have an Io texture on a Venus landscape. That's why, um, yeah. Definitely, definitely an IO texture with the Venus landscape. You can just tell by the way these uh, this land works. That's definitely a Venus um, landscape on it, which is pretty cool, actually. But yeah, before I uh, can keep ruining it, we'll just put a new one in. 
But yeah, pretty, pretty nice idea. The mix of Io and Venus together to create this. I think the land looks really, really cool like that. A nice um, atmosphere colour, the limelight mad planet guys as well. Nice um, white, pale sort of shade on it. So yeah, there is Mr. Miss Lots one. Right, now moving on, we've got the user Core. That's literally their name, so just Core. This is what they have came up with. Slightly larger one than the other ones. So here we are, righty. So it's a uh, very, very green Earth-like world, as we can see. Blue, uh, blue atmosphere. So if we look just underneath the um, clouds and atmosphere, that's what it looks like underneath. So very, very deep green. Um, it has on there a lot of forests and stuff going on there. Very nice. Um, so it's a little larger in size. We'll pull it to around um, how it roughly should be, so around there. Alrighty, and then last up, we've got um, Era. So let's see what they have uh, made for us here. Or oh, Eric, I think that's his. That's him again. I think he just cut it off, didn't it? So his one seems to be a little broken. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe, I think it's just the water glitches playing up a bit. Um, can we add the water on correctly? Let's uh, see if we can warm it up. Uh, 20 degrees. No? Is that not going to work? Um, let me just remove the other ones quickly. I think this well just needs some warming up. Because, yeah, you can see in the picture down there, it's definitely supposed to be Liquid Ocean. So, should we just click play? Uh, it's got a frozen glitch on it. Oh, no, the frozen glitch. The only issue with doing objects in the old version, we do have this nonsense to deal with. But if I just do that, there we go. So, it's roughly meant to look like this. There we go. So, we can see from the picture. Yeah, so that is um, what he has came with. So, now we can spawn the other ones back in. So, yeah, there is, um, that's what it's supposed to look like. There is our lineup. Right. So, just make this one around 7,100 once more. There we go. And then we can get them all uh, lined up as we uh, go through them once more. Right. So, we'll start with this one since it's where we left off. So, yeah, this is um, Eric's um, one again. Or, yeah, however you say his name. I'm really sorry, man. I, I can't do it. I, I can't pronounce your name. So, yeah. Error XD. So, um, yeah, there we go. So that was his, his um, Toy 700D here. So you've got more of a brownish colour. If we look underneath, uh, now we've got the world all working. So you've yeah, got a uh, dark, um, got some black there, some brownish colours. So, yeah, they've got quite a nice mixture of colour there. And also with the atmosphere colour on it, a nice um, white ATM. Got some city lights going on it as well for extra effect there. So, yeah, there is his one. Then going back onto this one again. So this was Core's one here. So the very um, green, heavy world with the nice blue um, atmosphere, blue clouds on it as well right there. So there is his one. Then back to Mr. Mislot's one here. So this was the Venus and Io texture combined together with a nice white, pale ATM on it. You can see the atmosphere slightly changes as you go to the darker side. It goes to look more of like a light pinkish sort of colour. Then we have Mad Planet Guys one here. So this one, like Mr. Miss Lots, has got some modding um, into it where it's more white clouds in the daytime. But as you go to closer to the nighttime, it goes to more of a, like a nice lavender sort of purple shade there. And then obviously underneath we have the vegetation effect. Um, as we can see when we turn that on and off, get that little vegetation bonus on it, which looks pretty cool. And then um, finally we have the original one we spawned in. So this was Blue Boys one here. But it seems to be a little ocean heavy as well. So what we'll do is remove it. So I, I do think it's meant to have a little more land. Because judging by the picture there, it definitely has more land than it does now. So we'll just pull it back to... So I'd say it's meant to look roughly around this area. You can see down there there's definitely more land. But yes, yeah, so we'll leave it around that. So that is a uh, Blue Boys one. So yeah, there we go, guys. That is the lineup for today's competition. So yeah, what do you think of these objects? Yeah, I'll leave the votes in Discord um, like always. And yeah, I hope, um, I wish the best of luck to everyone um, who is in the competition here. And yeah, massive thank you to these five guys for sending these objects in for today's competition as well. So yeah, there we go. There is the lineup. So yeah, make your votes in the Discord and then we'll do the results at the start of next episode. But yeah, they're all said and done, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's object competition video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video once um, the results are all through. Yeah, before we finish up as well, guys, um, let's see if we can hit 30 likes for today's competition um with this object here so this was toy 700d here so yeah pretty cool um exoplanet and yeah first one found in the Hathaway zone apparently so yeah pretty um awesome stuff there and yeah guys make sure to subscribe if you're new as well helps on the journey to 17,000 subscribers as yeah we are getting really really close let's see if we can try and push for it for the end of october that'd be absolutely awesome as we yeah, have we are i think we're around 200 away now so yeah massive thank you to everyone who's recently subscribed and everyone who keeps coming back every video as well it means the world massive thank you for all your support um like always and yeah guys with that all said and done now make sure you all have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye